How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back with yet another review. A little bit of funky Buddha time in the form of their The Love Below. Um, this is a whole heaping bits of pieces of hopeful goodness. It is a burn barrel age and Cabernet barrel age. So double barrel age imperial stout with cherries, chocolate, and vanilla added. Um, it sounds kind of exactly what uh, Funky Buddha does. Um, and I have to say thank you. And thank you to Carson for sending this off. He sent me a box of beers the other day. And uh, yeah, it wasn't too freaking shabby. Actually, this one come from Carson. Where did it come from, Ralph? Who knows? Maybe I screwed up. I gotta say thank you very much, Carson. Uh, yeah, he sent this off the other day with a bunch of bits and pieces of other goodness. So uh, getting those Florida hookups do not suck. So thank you very much, brother. This one comes courtesy of Ralph. Uh, Ralph decided to go a little bit bonkers on himself and send me a whole box of insane craziness. Um, so yeah, uh, dude, you're fucking crazy and I love it. So thank you very much, Ralph. So yeah, uh, that's pretty killer stuff. Um, it's awesome to get beer from people that appreciate beer. So yeah, let's dive into the label, see what she's got. As far as what it says in the label, it says Living Barrel Series. Uh, like I said, that Burn Barrel Age, Love Below, Cabernet Barrel Age, Imperial Stout, 12% alcohol by volume, done and done. Ooh, a little story time over here. We have, oh no, that talks about their Barrel Age Series over there, the Living Barrel Series, and that's that. It was, it's cool. I kind of liken it to the um, uh, Brewery Meets Wicked Weed when it comes to the kind of label stylings they have going on. So yeah, let's pop this open. Nice little... Fancy little glass there for you. Thank you very much. My uh, future wife's grandma, Inga, who's from Germany, got this for me for Christmas. So when I come to the New Digs, as you can see, I'm at New Digs. I'm very close to my girlfriend's family down here in Jersey. These are the glasses I have until I fully move in. Then I'll have my uh, typical, like, four different glasses I use. Anyway, uh, pick your finger. Like, I like my coffee to look like colored head. Uh, infinite creaminess to it. Nice kind of rich darkness. You know, it looks very kind of rich and decadent. Like a dessert. That does not suck. Let's see if I can get a nose on her. Wow, man. That does smell kind of like cherry Coke vibes. I've gotten it in a couple of beers as of late, but I think it, you combine that kind of cherry, vanilla... Um, that Cabernet barrel, and that's, I think, where the trick comes in there. You get that combination of the spirit barrel with that kind of funky, musty, kind of red wininess. Um, I think that kind of lends itself to a cola vibe, as far as my nose detects it. So, yeah, cola vibes with an extra bit of, like, smokiness and charriness. Charriness. Uh, the vanilla, like I said, it's not playing like vanilla. It's more of just, like, a sweetener and a cola kind of thing. But... As is usually the weirdo magic that uh, Funky Buddha does, it still smells like a beer. It has a lot of bits and pieces going on, but it still smells like beer. And that's an awesome thing. Yeah. She smells pretty damn good. Gonna dive in. Cheers. See, that's the shit I love. That's the stuff I love right there. Ooh. Yeah. And it finishes super decadent. First sip you get. I gotta go back here because that finish is so crazy. It's traditional. In a more stout sense. Roasted malts. Roasted malts. You get a bit of that booziness from that bourbon. You get a slight bit of venisonness from that grapiness. But then it kind of washes away. And then it brings this huge coffee roasted element to it, which, I mean, you know, they're talking about cherries, chocolate, and vanilla added. It has to be coming from the roasted malt or whatnot, but I'm getting a big, huge coffee component on it that kind of pops right in the middle there. Yeah. Rich. Decadent. Hmm. It's so cool because there's multiple layers to it. And like you get that big traditional pop right up front. Then you get that big kind of coffee component. It's more like a marzipani kind of rich um, desserty thing in the middle. And then while that still sticks around, then you're kind of hit with a lot more of that kind of great musty kind of Cabernet barrelness. So 
you get it from all different directions. This is absolutely the opposite of balance. This is hair on fire, a bunch of different things moving at a bunch of different speeds in a bunch of different directions, but it works. It, 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 it's, it's, it's harmonic chaos. Chaos. Chaos? That's like a weird, evil person that tries to kill Superman chaos or something, right? Uh, yeah, it's like chaos, but in a good way. Organized chaos. Um, you know what I mean? Like bottled anarchy, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I dig it. Uh, listen, I've always been a sucker for like a jammy kind of Venice kind of wine barrel thing with my stout. So it, it, it kind of hits me right in the heartstrings. You added that extra component of that bourbon barrel where you get a little bit of sweetness so it's not all just musty and kind of dank. Beautiful mouthfeel. Just explosions all over the place. And again, I said it about a minute or two ago. I'll say it again. Funky Buddha knows how to deal with all these different bits and pieces and adjuncts and whatever you want to call it, but keep it beer. I know how to keep it tasting like beer. And it still tastes like a stout with all that stuff going on. That's magic. You know, sure, you want to talk about them selling out. You know what I mean? All that stuff. Fuck that noise. You know, if this is what they're making and this is what you're looking for. Sure, if you're looking for a kind of rustic farmhouse season. And that's what you dig. You might not dig this, but you line up for this. You get in line for this, or you pick this up. This is probably a shelf beer for all I know. You know what you're looking for. And if this is what you're looking for, that kind of vibes, because that's what Funky Buddha does, you, it, you're going to love it, because it's delicious. Man, this is the shit I want by me on the shelf. You know, it's tasty, delicious. It's good beer, man. You know, I know, like I said, a lot of people poop on the whole kind of sellout thing, but yeah, whatever. I get it, and I get it on both ends of the spectrum, but at the same time, I also know there is, there's stories or, or points to be made on both sides of that when it comes to a consumer, straight up consumer, and that's how I approach this as a consumer. So anyway, uh, yeah, explosive, uh, decadent, um, rich, um, refined, and just absolutely fantastic across the board every flavor i mean i didn't really mention much about the vanilla because i think that kind of plays to that kind of sweetness uh, in between the barrel of the cabernet barrel and the bourbon barrel uh chocolate this is a malty thing going on now the cherry thing like i said it was that kind of added component that made me think of a cola thing the whole time but it bridges that gap between the, the uh, bourbon and the uh the uh the grapiness the vinousness but yeah, delicious stuff. I dig it. I love it. So let's talk about it. Is it one of the better stouts, adjunct, laden, burn barrel aged, double barrel aged stouts? One of the better big bur barrel aged stouts. Let's just go that way. That I've had is really absolutely super tasty. I dig it. I love me some, you know, wine barrel aged stouts. So it kind of works on my end. But, you know, I have had a lot that have been pretty poopy. So this one's pretty delectable. Uh, value to availability. I don't know, but Funky Buddha's pricing is usually not too bad, but uh, maybe somebody can chime in and leave you with, if you like what we well, like this, if you like big, robust barrel aid stouts, because that's what this is. It's tasty and delicious. And then you like that wine barrel component, because it's there, but it's not overpowering. So if you want it dry and super tart, you're not going to get that. You're going to get a bit more kind of, you know, porty stuff, I guess. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Uh, if you did, down there, talk about it. Or if you hate, you can talk about it down there too. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers. Check me out over there. So social media stuff. If you want to check me out doing the podcast stuff, type in Beer Massive, M-A-S-S-I-F, into the YouTube and uh, the uh, Googs. And you find me there. And there you go. Another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully enjoying a nice, big, barrel-aged Imperial Stout right now. And hope to see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>